Hey everybody, Rudy here with FunToBeFrugal.com and today I have some really exciting news to share with you. Dollar Tree is now accepting coupons, which is crazy because everything in the store is already a dollar, but it's going to be more fun because now we get to use coupons on top of that. Now, yes, the Dollar Tree, they carry smaller sizes, so normally if you get it at a grocery store and it's like a 10 count at the Dollar Tree, it's going to be like a 4 count. But, I mean, if it makes the item free, then those are great donation items. Or, you know, it's great to have in the house for free if you're going to use it. Alright, so what I want to do is go over their policy with you. That way, when you get to the store, you're not shocked when you get up to the cash register and they don't take all your coupons. So, let's go over the policy real quick. That way, you know what to expect when you go in there with your coupons. Alright, the first thing is they only accept... Um, manufacture coupons so if you have like a Publix coupon or um, a Walgreens coupon or anything anything other than a manufacturer's coupon they do not accept it and that's pretty normal for most stores unless they take competitors so the Dollar Tree does not take competitor coupons only a valid manufacturer coupon the coupon cannot be scanned or copied and this goes for anywhere because it's illegal to scan or copy or re or you know modify the coupon in any way so no copy coupons also you are only allowed to have two printed internet coupons per transaction so what this means is you can have you know 20 coupons with you but only two of them are allowed to be printed from the internet you see these these are the printed from the internet and I have two of them now these coupons are for a Duncan Hines product and which I can use there because it says any Duncan Hines product but if I had three of these they won't take all three they'll only take two so if you're gonna buy three one of them's not getting the coupon with it if all you have are the internet printables so only two internet printables per transaction now let's say you had four internet printables and you wanted to use them all in one trip you can you just have to do two separate transactions which my rule of thumb is you know two transactions is okay you know as long as they're small and they're not like 50 and then 50 but if you just have two small transactions that way you can use all four coupons that's not a big deal you're not holding up a lot of people but remember this is the Dollar Tree so normally they only have one or two lanes open so you want to be considered of everybody else but you also still want to get your good deals so if you have four coupons just split it up into two transactions okay the next thing is they do not accept coupons for free items so any type of coupon that has like a blank space for the cashier to write an amount in or any up to coupon they do not accept those so for instance, I have this free Nivea Lip Care product coupon. They will not accept this. Now, this isn't like a deal breaker. This shouldn't make you upset because there are so many other stores out there that will accept these. So it's not a big deal. And normally Dollar Tree sizes are smaller, so you want to use this somewhere else where you get the full size anyways. So not a big deal, but they do not accept them. So don't expect to go in there and get your free item with that coupon okay you have to show your coupon when you're purchasing the item you can't run back in there you know the day later show your receipt and get cash back it doesn't work like that most stores don't allow that anyways so you have to give the receipt at the time of purchase no brainer also coupons cannot be redeemed for more than the item so everything in the store is already a dollar so if you have a two dollar coupon it will only take off a dollar so usually the cashiers just will adjust it for you so let's look at this coupon it's five dollars off any two covergirl items five dollars off two items at the Dollar Tree is going to be two dollars so if you use this coupon you're going to lose out on three dollars because they're not going to give you that three dollars back they're just going to readjust it to where it's two dollars off so you still get two free products but you don't get that extra $3 that the coupon is worth. You're only going to get $2. So any type of coupon that goes over the value, they will adjust it down to only give you a dollar off per item. Now, I want to show you this coupon because it's $1.50. Normally you would think, oh, they're going to adjust that down to a dollar. But if you read the wording carefully, it says $1.50 off two items. So if you buy two items, that's $2.00. 
So for both these items, you're going to end up paying 50 cents for both. So that's going to be a quarter a piece. So you want to be careful to the wording too. So you can use this coupon and still walk out with a great deal. All right, the next thing is they only accept the coupons. It has to be the valid uh, quantity, size. It has to be the right product. And, and that goes for anywhere. You can't use a coupon on the wrong product. So let's go over this coupon. It's say 50 cents when you buy any one 22 to 30 ounce jar of mayonnaise. Well, like I said earlier, the Dollar Tree, they only um, carry the smaller sizes. So they don't carry this big size. So you can't use this coupon. Even though it would make the jar of mayonnaise only 50 cents, you can't use it because this is required for the bigger item. Now, let's go over this coupon. Save a dollar off Lifesavers, 2.75 ounce. Guess what? They have this item in this size range, so you get to get this item completely free. Isn't that exciting? So, it, it's really, it's going to be really fun shopping at the Dollar Tree with all our new coupons, and you just need to follow the policy correctly. Let me make sure we went over everything. Um, oh, they only accept one coupon per item. So, let's say you had this coupon, but you have two of them. You have to grab two bags if you want to use both coupons. If you have two coupons, but you only want to grab one bag, then save that coupon for later. You can't use more than one coupon on one item. It's one coupon per item. And the last thing on their policy says that the manager has the right to basically refuse any coupons. They have the right to limit quantities. So basically, the manager has the last say. So we all know what that means as a couponer. Go in there, put a smile on, be happy, be as friendly as you can. Um, don't try to belittle them or kind of get in an argument with them. You want them to be happy with you so the transaction goes smoothly because if you get a, an attitude with them, they can refuse you any of your coupons, okay? So you want to walk out with your good deals, so just be happy and play along with them. So those are all my tips. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Also, I have the Dollar Tree matchups on my website, so go ahead and take a look at what coupons are out there for what items are at the Dollar Tree, and be ready because it starts August 26th. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.